Each button has a story to tell, each trimming a tradition. Beefeater Moira Cameron is getting ready to take visitors on a tour of the Tower of London. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Her Majesty's Royal Palace and Fortress, the Tower of London. The Tower of London is almost 1,000 years old. Its traditional guards, known as Beefeaters or Yeoman Warder, are all former soldiers. But there'd never been a female soldier among them until Moira Cameron came along. Even now, people five years on, people still say, oh, oh my goodness, a woman. I go, yes. <laughs> How nice of you to notice. <laughs> Cameron was in the British Army for 22 years, reaching the rank of Sergeant Major. Yeah, just go around. Her duties at the tower include giving directions, telling stories, and being a role model for others. It is a very privileged position to be in. Um, I didn't realize how privileged until I, I met up with an American couple. They were on their first holiday without their children, and the chap had said to me that his daughter had seen the picture, my picture in the paper, and she said, you know what this means, Dad? And I went, what? And she went, it means I can do anything I want to do. Anything I want to do. And that made me realize what an important position that I hold. Others are thrilled with Moira Cameron too. I think it's absolutely fabulous that uh, finally there's a woman. I think it's great. This nation has had several outstanding queens, so women should be able to handle being a beefeater. I'm a great believer in equality uh, for men and for women, so I think it's important for, uh, for there to be equality in those sorts of things. So it's, it's great. The Tower of London dates back to the times of William the Conqueror. It's functioned as an armory, a treasury, a jail, and even a zoo. The tower is home to the crown jewels. Cameron's predecessors guarded kings and queens, royal treasures and prisoners, and occasionally acted as tour guides. But it was a strictly male-only profession until September 3rd, 2007, when Moira Cameron began serving as a yeoman warder in full uniform. She beat five male applicants for the job. Her appointment made the headlines. Some people objected to a woman occupying this traditional post. Cameron was mobbed, which led to one Beefeater's dismissal. But Alan Kingshot, the tower's chief yeoman warder, supported Moira Cameron from the start. The situation happened. It was it was an unsavorable sort of situation to be in. I didn't like it, and, and the majority of the yeoman warders didn't like it. As a result of which one was actually suspended and, uh, and sacked as a result of that. But, um, you know, it's, it's water, water under the bridge as far as I'm concerned. It... Moira Cameron takes a tea break between tours. Like her male colleagues, she also lives in the historic tower, which she found a bit unnerving at first, as quite a few people lost their heads here. One was Lady Jane Grey, nominal Queen of England for just nine days. Her ghost is said to haunt the tower. One of the questions I was actually asked in an interview was uh, that the place was meant to be haunted and coming here as a single girl, no, you know, no husband, I was, they said, you know, are you going to be okay with that? And my answer to that was, it's never the dead you have to be worried about, it's always the living. Five years after the appointment of the first female beefeater, people here are looking to the future. Cameron loves her work. It's a wonderful job, especially in days like this. But it's, you get a real feel-good factor, I say, again, because it's when, you, when I'm at the front gate and we're saying, you know, cheerio to people and saying, hope you had a good time, it's when they turn around and say to you that it was fantastic, it was fabulous. That's when you know you've done a good job. Soon there could be more girl power at the tower as two other women have also applied to become beefeaters. eaters 